So you finally set up Sapphire West and want more performance without purchasing the premium utility or just want to find out how to properly micro adjust timer resolution. Well, here's a guide on how to squeeze a little more by properly setting up your timer resolution. So start by downloading the tool from the GitHub in the description. From the GitHub page, head over to releases and download the .exe. From there, open it and set your settings up. Now, I did set some settings up by default. These are a balance of accuracy and length. So the start value is the resolution that the test starts with. The end is where it ends and increment is the amount that your resolution goes up for each test done. So if you have five, it's going to test 5,000, 5,005, 5,010, 5,015, and so on. If you have one, it's going to test 5001, 5002, 5003, and so on. If you want a more accurate test, you can lower the increment and higher the samples. Now, samples are just how many samples of the delta from 1ms your time resolution has. So typically, the higher this value is, the more accurate it is. Now, if you don't want to spend that much time testing, you can just use the default values as these will take somewhere between 5 and 15 minutes, depending on your hardware. From here on out, open a new tab and choose a stress test. You can use any stress test. I personally recommend using CPU-Z, which you can get from cpuid.com slash software slash CPU-Z. From there on, click on setup and download now. Although you can also use Prime 95, although I really do not necessarily recommend this. It would be really accurate of a timer resolution, although this is the type of CPU load you usually never achieve outside of the benchmark. Not just typically, you never get this you never get this much amount of CPU usage. And CPU Z really just mimics how a CPU would perform in-game a lot more than Prime 95. Although if you do want to use Prime 95, you can go to percent.org slash download and grab the Windows 64-bit download. If you wish to use Prime 95, you have to extract it with 7-zip, open it, open Prime 95, click on just stress testing and use a small FFTS. From there on, click OK. Now note that if you click on the close here, the benchmark is actually not going to be closed and it is still going to run in the background. What you have to do is go to the drop down here, right click and exit for it to actually stop. As you can see, the benchmark is now stopped. If you want to use CPU-Z like I am going to in this video, you have to open the installer, click on I accept the agreement, next, next again, and next again, next again, install, untick view CPU-Z underscore readme and finish. Once you have CPU-Z open, head over to Bench and click on Stress CPU. Now click on Start and just wait. Once it's done testing, you're going to see Info, Results Saved in Results.txt and the tool will close once you press OK. Then, open File Explorer, head to your C drive, timer res and you're going to notice results.txt. From here, open it and you're going to notice the fact that these are your timer resolution results. Once you are done, you can stop the test and exit out of CPU-Z. Now here I usually recommend looking for the lowest max value. As you can see, 5085 has the lowest max value for me as all of the others are either above 1 or 5, which is not ideal. From here, create a shortcut with set timer resolution.exe, go to properties, set the attribute dash dash resolution, and your desired resolution, then dash dash no dash console. Then open task manager and kill set timer resolution, which will still be running your last resolution. Then open the shortcut open up CMD, drag and drop measuresleep.exe, type in dash dash samples. You can start off with 100 if you want to, and just see if the resolution is still stable.
Since it is stable without a stress test, open up CPU Z again. Stress CPU again and do more samples. As you can see, I've already gotten a 0 0.5 thousand result, although this is pretty much expected. So do not worry too much. As long as the average is still really good, it doesn't really matter. After, after that, go back to timer res, open up shell startup. And if you are on Sapphire OS, replace the shortcut. And if you aren't, put the shortcut here. So timer resolution can start at any point you open up your PC. I hope this guide has helped you micro adjust your timer resolution. And same with the tool. I will see you guys later with another guide at some point or another.